Hello guys, I have a notebook here that has a 250 gigabytes of hard drive capacity and I wanted to upgrade it to a 500 gigabyte uh, SATA drive and um, I will be uh, moving all the files, the operating system and the data from my old hard drive to this new hard drive. In computer terms, they call it cloning. So I will clone all my uh, my old hard drive to this new hard drive. So what you need, uh, the tools that you need, uh, first is you need a SATA drive to USB adapter. If for instance your hard drive is an IDE drive, then you're going to need an IDE to USB adapter. You can buy, I bought this from Fry's Electronics um, here in, in the US. I don't know if uh, in some other countries, maybe you can go to your computer shop and buy the uh, whatever the uh, converter you have in your uh, for your notebook hard drive. The IDE has a pin on it, and this one just goes to that uh, IDE port and then the others uh, the end of it goes to the USB but um, that's only for the information so but this time I'll be using the uh, SATA drive this is the SATA drive so this is a SATA adapter and the other and the other end goes to the, the USB it has its own uh, power and now this is the USB port goes to the USB uh, of the uh, notebook so that you can move all your files okay let me connect this right now okay so uh, in this computer I will be using a Windows 7 home um, the software that I will be introducing is called Acronis True Image 2013. Uh, it is compatible with uh, Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8. Acronis True Image is one of the best softwares that I can recommend for cloning uh, the hard drive. Although this is a paid product, um, if you're not so much technical about computers and you just only wanted to clone uh, your old hard drive, if you wanted to upgrade to a new one and you're not uh, secure of uh, sending your computer to a uh, tech um, computer shop because you think you have some sensitive data so I, I might as well uh, recommend to go for this uh, uh, software there's another one which is a freeware called clonezilla uh, as the description implies, it's free, but uh, it's a little bit uh, technical because um, Linux base. So if you don't know anything about this um, software, so I might as well skip this. But uh, I tell you, it is also a good freeware. So you might as well check that. Okay, so I am now. I just opened uh, Acronis True Image. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you have to turn on the uh, external drive so that it can be recognized by the uh, software. Once it is recognized, the two image will work automatically. It will just give you some option. Let me um, pause this video and uh, I have a captured image using snag it so that you can uh, see and visualize better uh, the activity inside the true image okay okay so earlier I mentioned the uh, section that says clone disk you have to click that and then there are two options here automatic and manual just select automatic and then it's asking you for the source drive the source drive is the 250 uh, hard drive that I have although it's uh, uh, reported as 239 but uh, commercially it's uh, sold as 250 gigabyte there are two so yeah I have to select this one 
that's the source drive and then click the next button Okay, then the next step is asking you for the destination drive or the target drive. I s selected the 400 gigabyte capacity here, but it is sold as 500 gigabytes. And then click uh, OK. It's asking you if uh, you're going to retain uh, the data. So, but uh, I don't need anything in this new drive. So I just click OK here to erase everything. and then it shows you the before and after of the uh, destination drive or the new drive and then click next Okay, the uh, next step here is asking you to restart the computer. You have to restart the computer. Don't turn off. Don't turn off the uh, external drive. Just restart the computer, okay? Okay, guys. After I restarted the computer, this is what happens. It will run in its own Acronis 2 image environment and this is no longer the Windows environment here so it is a standalone uh, process right now in which the uh, software is uh, cloning the drive to a new uh, to the destination okay uh, starting from here it will be an automatic process so all you have to do is just wait except for there's one option that says um, somewhere uh, uh, in the process it's asking you to to restart the computer automatically or turn off or shut down the the computer once the uh, process is finished just click shut down the computer I mean uh, check that uh, option then once it shuts down you have to remove the uh, the destination drive or the external drive from the machine this is going to be a seven part process and and uh, once the uh, the process is finished again it will shut off the machine because I chose that option earlier now um, on the display you will see the the minute I mean the uh, the time uh, left for that uh, particular process or for that particular part of the process uh, for a in my experience for a 250 gigabyte um, clone uh, and depending on the speed of your computer especially the memory of your computer it takes about one to two hours so I don't wanna uh, let you wait guys I will stop this video and then I will proceed uh, when the process is almost done so at least you will know uh, what is going on uh, with the machine before I stop this I forgot to mention that uh, I'm I've been working with dual processor computer with uh, 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM. You might be wondering if uh, your process may, may take even 5 to 6 hours or even 8 hours. Uh, this is because uh, your processor and your memory might be uh, uh, slower. So again let me pause this and then continue uh, the video. 
Okay, I'm back. Just to show you, it's been an hour and 15 minutes since I left that uh, portion there. And the uh, status says 6 of 7. And it says 5 minutes left. And um, yeah, it's still working. The external drive, uh, although it's a little bit warm and a little bit hot. So if you have like a fan, electric fan, uh, to cool this off, uh, that would be a, a good help. So that the driver, I mean, the, so that the hard drive may be uh, cool enough to finish the, the process. I don't have an electric fan uh, within my reach right now. So let me just continue that with uh, that uh, setup. Okay. Okay, let me uh, pause this and continue again. Okay, guys, it says uh, waiting for sh a shutdown, so it's uh, almost completing the process. Okay. Okay, so the machine is off right now. So that's the time you're going to remove the external drive and then uh, see if the original uh, computer is still uh, booting up before we change the the original hard drive to this new uh, and larger uh, capacity hard drive okay guys what I'm going to do right now is uh, turn off the SATA drive SATA to USB adapter and then unplug the USB uh, cord or connector from the machine and then power up the machine because I wanted to make sure that everything is still uh, working before I replace it with the new uh, hard drive so it just booted up and looks and it looks like it's still normal uh, I'll, I'll stop it until it I, I can see the uh, windows uh, background there before I uh, replace it with this uh, new drive okay so it's it's still normal so let me stop this uh, video and then continue with uh, replacing physically replacing the uh, old hard drive okay guys we're back with the new hard drive right now just make sure that uh, whatever the position of all the screws and the components particularly the caddy uh, metal caddy from your old uh, hard drive just follow it uh, with the new uh, hard drive make sure to put back all the screws before uh, replacing it in the uh, hard drive bay Okay, once this is done, do not replace yet all the uh, covers. Uh, we still have to test it because if if this doesn't work, then it's easier for us to remove that hard drive and uh, see what happens uh, with the clone. So okay, I'm putting back all the uh, peripherals right now and uh, uh, let me power up the machine. If this works, then uh, the clone is successful.
okay that's a good indication it's it says starting windows I will stop this video once I see the windows background oh well it's still uh, booting up uh, just to let you know guys Acronis is running a discounted offer and I have a link actually in the description in this video that goes to my blog so you might well uh, get that code from there so to get the discounted uh, price okay so there's already the windows uh, background there so I guess I the clone was successful so I hope I have imparted a uh, an idea to you guys so thanks for watching this video uh, if you want to get some more tips and tricks please check my blog ifixiteasy.com that's www.ifixiteasy.com and please don't forget to sign up in my youtube channel thanks guys bye